Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome to this video. This will be... I should probably feed. Part 20 of the Leaf Green Nuzlocke. And this part is pretty much only to battle Sabrina. And if there's time to make some of the water captures, to try to pretty much eliminate that. So, that's the goal. Anyway, I have Billy Gal in lead, being as Billy Gal has Bite. That's pretty much the entire reason it's super effective in this gym. He's weak against the gym, but his special defense should be high enough to where he can take a few blows. See, 21 damage. He should be pretty decent. Sorry if my... My brain kind of shuts off at certain points. I just recorded the audio for two other videos. So... It probably will. There will be moments of silence, most likely. Sorry if that happens. Anyway. We're going to battle Sabrina. Finally, on part 20. And we might not make it out of this. We might not. We'll send Meat Eater in there. Because... I don't know, I feel like Slowbro would get hurt more by a stabbed Razor Leaf. And a regular bite, but he missed. Disable, that was smart. Plus, Razor Leaf has a high critical hit ratio. So, yeah. And I doubt that'll kill him, because he does have a decent special defense. Okay, not, not great. Decent, though. Plus, I don't plan on using him again in this gym. So, we should be fine. Psychic Cameron, you are down and out. And I think I should heal Golbat. No. No, he only took 20 damage. He should be fine. And I'm just gonna use random teleporters until we end up there. And I have enough healing items to where it shouldn't be an issue. See, look at this. Ghastly is not a ghost type. I don't think he can even learn a ghost move. I could be wrong. But who knows? He probably can by now. He can probably learn, like, Psychic. But I don't care. That's not my point. My point is, he ain't gonna know no Psychic moves in this gym. Unless you went to the Psychic's house. And at which point, you're a smarter trainer than a random gym trainer in the 6th gym. Honder shouldn't be that bad. We should have to bite that thing to death. I am a little scared about the PP on bite. Being as it is already going down. It's only 25. And I think there's like 8 gym trainers in here. So that might be an issue. Especially being that I know Sabrina has 4 Pokemon. So best case scenario, I need 8 PP for Sabrina. There she is. What a hell. I wonder how she's earned your respect. Another ghastly, really? You better faint from that. Hunter, I think we're gonna send... I think we have Levitate, so we'll send Guardian out there. Actually, Kick-Asses has Pursuit, so he might be able to do a little bit of damage through this Hunter. Then again, Hunter probably can't do any damage to it. So, Kick-Asses would have been the smarter choice there. Sorry for messing up. Chandler Amanda. You are not good enough. I could have told you that. <laughs> Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Well, oh, they say that, like, pets end up looking like their owners. That's why I wish I had a cat. I wonder if it would start looking like me. 
Fuse Ray, that sucks. But really, Billy Gal and Kick Asses are both expendable at this point. Because we could send in Dodo, Doduo, to take Billy Gal's spot, or OG Bot, which is now Pidgeot, for level 36, but I could grind it up. And then really, Kick Asses doesn't add anything to the team at this point. He's just been on the team the longest. So. Yeah, it is. I don't know what this moron's saying. Maybe in the world of competitive battling it doesn't, but in the world of just the regular game, it does. I feel like fairy typing has made Mr. Mime even better. And that is a scary thought. Barrier? Oh, he flinched. Good. Maybe I have an ether or something. Magical leap? Why in the fuck would you use that? Sorry for the language, it just... I don't know if my language would affect somebody in this video. I feel like I don't have a big enough fan base to where I would have little kid fans. I don't know, we're gonna send kick asses out there. And we're just gonna see if we can do anything. Hopefully get him, you know, some experience. Maybe level him up. Hyper Fan will probably do more damage. We'll check. Thing is, it's a stabbed move. It's a stab, 80 power move, and I think Pursuit only has 40. So it being super effective makes it as strong as Hyper Fang is normally. But then it gets stabbed. So, yeah. Yep. I do believe it. I do believe that you suck at Pokemon. You're spending too much time focusing on your Pokemon's friggin' everything but strength. <laughs> you wanna see Sabrina? Well, of course I do! Isn't that the point of everybody who comes in this gym? Don't they all wanna see Sabrina? I hope. It's kind of the point. And we're gonna play smart and use Confuse right here. Just because it's level 38 slow, bro, it's a little high up there. Don't want to lose. At least not till we get to Sabrina. Amnesia. Okay, I thought it lowered his speed or something. Of course, Bite might not be a good idea now. After he used Amnesia. So I guess we'll use Wing Attack. See which one does more damage. It's looking like wing attack, so hopefully he doesn't have recover. Yeah. He should be pretty much done. Oh good, it did kill him. Psychic Preston. You're so psychic. And we're going this way. Did we battle him already? No, we did not. No. Doesn't scare me, it makes me envious. I wish I could do that. Johan. Or maybe he's German, and it's Johan. I don't know. Alakazam's family is, like, notorious for their low defense stats. Like, they're great if they're faster than you, because they'll slaughter you. But if they're not faster than you, then you pretty much win. And I'm gonna send Meat Eater out there again because I know Sabrina doesn't have slow pokes, so it really probably won't overlevel him. Maybe what I'll do is after this part, I'll off train it off screen, train everybody to like 45. And that way everybody's good to go for for the next part. That way nobody's overly leveled versus somebody else. Um We'll send feet out there. I feel like the only person in this team I really don't want to lose is uh, Guardian. Everybody else in this team's like, hmm. But he'll probably use Barrier this turn, or Reflect. Oh, why is it Barrier? Oh, he used Encore. That's genius. What would have been smart if I used Slash? Would have been like, oops. Encore. I hope you have Recover. Now I don't even have to click what move I want. Thank you, it makes my job easier. And 
you went down. Kadabra will send um, kick asses back out there, just so we can get some experience. Being it's gonna be a level 31 Kadabra, he should be able to handle it. Hyper Fang, yeah, it missed. Reflect, finally, he uses Reflect. And we'll still keep using Hyper Fang. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Exactly, I figured we should be strong enough. And Kick Asses is officially level 43. Really high level for a freaking Raticate. Yeah, I would never foresee a level 43 uh, Raticate either. Did I battle you yet? Yep. I don't think I battled him, but I don't care. Oh, that's the entrance. Well, then we'll go up. We'll go this way. I typically go to the other side. If you haven't noticed yet. But I think this is the first one. Yeah, so we'll go down. We battle this girl. So it goes this way. This way. We're gonna go back on it. I hate gyms arranged like this. It's like, oh. So we battle you. We did. We'll go down. This one. No. No. Let's try this again. And we'll go over here to this one. And we're here. Where does this one take us? I'm gonna go back to that square. It came from the left. Let's see what happens when we go to the bottom left. <sighs> Come on! It's like ridiculous. Maybe I should have like looked up a guide to do this. <laughs> Maybe I'll just fast forward through this part. As I'm kind of just teleporting around randomly. I guess it has to be one of the other ones. And it came from what here? So. We'll go down and left. This is here. Let's try down and left here. There we go! My goodness. And now we'll heal the team. Meat Eater might be necessary. Let's see if we have a regular potion. Nope, so I'm gonna have to waste a hyper potion. Oh, and if you're wondering what the item is on him, it's an Everstone. Berry Pouch. Open. Yeah, we got four orange berries. I'm gonna give everybody an orange berry. Just in case. You never know when an orange berry is gonna come in handy. Anyway, I think she starts with Kadabra. So I'm gonna start with Kagazes. Wish me luck.
and I thought, right, so she starts with a Kadabra, which I believe we fought a Kadabra at this level already, and Hyper Fang killed it in one hit. But Hyper Fang missed, and it set up Reflect, which might be a problem, but it might not be. So, well, let's find out. That's probably for the better, because that way she won't have a Hyper Potion to use on for her Alakazam. So, let's try to take care of this. Plus, with Future Sight in effect already, it, it, I just, I like that. We should be good. All we have to worry about is Mr. Mime going out there. Now, Feet could probably take it, but the Future Sight might take Feet out. So we're sending Guardian out there. Guardian took the Future Sight attack, but it failed. So I'm going to use Will-O-Wisp first turn. She might have a full heal, but it'll do some damage, and then we can use Confuse Ray. Barrier. Defense sharply rose, but Reflect wore off, so we should be in a good spot for that. So we're going to use Confuse Ray, so like, Mr. Mime has less chance of attacking. Which we're trying for a clean KO all over him, and hopefully he doesn't get a hit on, in on us. Yeah, and that's what we want. But Barrier makes his confusion not hurt him as much, but it won't stop Flamethrower from doing a crap ton of damage. Now, if he can't hit this turn, we're in a really good spot. Yeah, she might use a full restore, maybe she only has Hyper Potions, but... Okay, she's using a Hyper Potion. We should have used Flamethrower again, but we should be fine. Burn. Yeah, we're in a good spot again. It might snap out of confusion this turn, but it probably won't do that much damage to Guardian. And if it could hit itself again, we'd have packs. So great. Psy Beam, it's probably not going to do that much damage. <sighs> and of course, she got a crit, but can't complain because we got like three turns in with the confusion. So, whatever. Venomoth. We're leaving Guardian in there, and we're just going for a one-hit KO with Flamethrower. Yeah, that's the goal. I'm on Flamethrower. I don't know why she has a Venomoth, but... There we go. So Venomoth is down, and all she has left is Alakazam. But he has really low defense. But Billy Gal probably won't do that much damage. We're gonna send Kick Asses out there first. I'd rather lose Kick Asses than Billy Gal. Just because Kick Asses doesn't add anything to the team at this point. We're gonna go for a Hyper Fang and hope for the best. That would be the best. <laughs> we use Quick Attack. And it's over! And I was horrified about this battle since the beginning of Phanaslan. This loss shocks me. Why does it shock you? I'm just too good. And to put that into perspective, it took me, what, like, 15 minutes to beat Koga? But it takes me, like, 5 to beat Sabrina. Escape rope? I wonder if you can use them in here anyway. Oh, good, you can. I don't feel like fumbling around in the dark for a little bit. So, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'll make some water encounters. Just to knock them out. Thing is, there were towns I couldn't do before. I could go to Cinnabar and look for the stupid key. But, I'd rather just get the water encounters done now. So. Let's check to see how many Pokeballs we got. But I think I'm going to buy some Ultra Balls. Because I think we can buy them now. Hopefully we can buy them now. That'd be super amazing. Nope. Can't. 
but we'll buy like 10 more great balls. No, we don't need 11, we only needed 10 more. This would be where fly would come in handy, but our flying type Pokemon can't use fly. So at this point it's pretty much useless aside for beating uh, fighting types. I know there's some water in whatever this Cerulean, I was about to say Celadon, but I knew that wasn't right. And then Walls of Cel Celadon Cave later on, if we get that far. I don't know why I say it like that, like I'm expecting us to lose at some point. I guess this will work, we could probably just use Surf. But we didn't give Surf to anybody yet. I'm so stupid sometimes. Uh, we got cut now. We can just cut down that little tree. I should probably put Meat Eater at the lead, now that I'm thinking about it. And this video will just be however long it takes me. And I'll end the video at Cinnabar. Just... Because I think I'm gonna end up I think we're gonna only be at like 19 minutes through this video at this point. So we should be good. If, if even 19. So I should have like 11 minutes to make some captures. So we're gonna use the super rod here. We're not gonna register it. Not even a nipple. Because I do want to use the old rod. I don't know why I just registered. I'm so stupid, I swear. Okay, let's see what we got. And we got a Krabby. I've never used a Krabby before. It could be interesting, but I don't think it learns any good water moves. Because I think it's primarily a physical attacker. Yeah, like Vice Grip. So we probably wouldn't end up putting him in the party. If we did, it would probably be like a last resort kind of thing. So. And we caught the Krabby. So we can slap Surf on him and now go back up the Celadon. Cerulean. Yeah, it's, it's a crab. I'll call it that, a crab. That's all he is, is a crab. And let's see if we can teach him surf. Typically I rearrange my items, but I just... Like to be honest, when I'm not recording and I'm not grinding, I'm not playing this. So it's never, never even came up. Machine set. A crab learned to surf. Okay, so now let's go up the Celadon, Cerulean, I don't know why I keep saying that. Oh my god. I don't know why I have such a difficult time. I blame the controller. I wonder if the, the volume's any good. So now we're going back up here. Just make one encounter, and then we're going to Fuchsia, I think. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the box, and I'm going to drop Billy Gal off. And I believe, I don't remember which one I taught Fly to. Deposit Pokemon. We don't need Billy Gal momentarily. Withdraw Pokemon. That's our dead box. Did I teach it to Duo Bird? Tri Bird. <laughs> no, I taught it, taught it to OG Bot. So draw OG Bot. And... Le Lego. <laughs> That's right, because I unregistered the bicycle. Because you can only register one item in this game. Make this encounter. No, 
how I registered it, didn't I? Okay, let's see what we get here. Maybe a polywag? Another Krabby, of course. I wonder how many times we've gotten duplicates in this game. It's like ridiculous sometimes. Now we have OG Bot with Fly. So let's fly to Fuchsia City and take care of the area down there. Because I don't want to surf from this side. Let's see if I can skip. Yeah, I can. Actually, pull, pull it back. Pull it back. I don't want it. No, I want to throw the old rod out there. Or that works too. I was going to throw an old rod out there. Just in case so I could get a Gyarados at least. But this works too. And he's got Thrash, so he's got to move. That's great. Let's throw a great ball at him. Granted, I'd prefer the Magikarp, just so I can have another Pokemon caught. Plus, it'd be easier to catch. <sighs> but it's whatever. Sorry for the big deep breaths. I guess they're just size. Yeah, I just cracked the closet a little bit. Oh good, he's confused. He might hit himself. We'll start wasting Pokeballs on him. And hopefully we can catch him. Being as we do need a server on the team. I'd rather have a Poliwag. But knowing how my luck works, we're not going to get a Poliwag. Come on, hit yourself again. Hit yourself again. Hit yourself again. Good job. Good girl. Ultra Ball would be nice here. But we'll waste our Pokeballs. Being as we probably won't use them ever again. And we caught a Gyarados with them, so... It's all good. Now we have a Gyarados. I bet it is. Um, and we're just going to call it period. And I won't explain the joke. It shouldn't be that hard to figure out. So let's see here. Is there some water? I think there's some water in Celadon City. Actually, I think... I'm going to play this like a girl. Okay, okay, I'm back to this game. I looked on Bulbapedia to see where you can catch Poliwag. And it's not looking too good, but it also reminded me that we never made a capture for Fuchsia City. And a Magikarp, that's nice, I guess. Uh oh, he's using Splash. Watch out, you might get wet. And my foot's falling asleep. That's great. And my bones died. And we caught this Magikarp. Wish we would have just caught the Magikarp, not the Gyarados, but I'm not having a useless Magikarp in the box. Okay, which we call the magic card. Um, Sucka. Sucks. Okay, and we have to go make a capture. On the bag. We have to make a capture. A bunch of pots down there. In the Fuchsia City, which we can actually catch a polywag on. Except for other little lakes. I'm just gonna go down to that one. I don't mind a slow poke either. 
Pokemon's the other house. Being as a Slowpoke would at least give us a Psychic type. But who knows? One Poliwag. A Goldeen. At level 9. Smooth. And stun spore missed. Yeah, we need to catch this Goldeen. I don't think I've ever used a Sea King. So, at least it's a boy. I right, want well, one more route worth of captures, and then we'll be on Cinnabar. Great. Oh my god. <laughs> it's paralyzed. Smooth. Oh, great, and I never wanted Pokemon Center to heal a oh, crap. Oh, the crab got this. Take it one in the boxing match. Ready to serve. And of course we're paralyzed. Okay, let's use pack again. Use surf. Which shouldn't do a lot of damage, being as it's a water type. Hopefully we can safely get in another Sir. Or we might be paralyzed. And then that way, your Golding will be at least in the yellow. Because I might use the Golding. Really not leaning towards Kingler. It evolves into Sea King. Oh, I know what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it Kingdra. So it's really confusing. Now we'll just fly. And I guess we can't put a crap in the box. We'll just pick up Eevee the next video. Why did I fly to... Oh, because you do need to fly to Pallet. And I counted, um... Charmander as the capture here. We'll go for another water capture. Not even a nibble. We'll try again. Not even a nibble. We'll try again! Come on, Poliwag. Oh, crap. Uh, it's like the game hates me. It's like, you want this? Well, too bad. You're getting a Krabby. Now, being as we can't make a capture here. Should I repel? Yep. Super repel. So, by the time we get the Cinnabar, that'll be the end of the video. And I'm skipping trainers as much as I can. So, if you've enjoyed the video, give me a like, or comment, or share it, or favorite it, or whatever. Anyway, just make sure you leave me something. I know the door is locked, I didn't mean to go under the door. Anyway, uh, peace out, home skillets.